Well, this building has hosted some of the biggest fights in boxing history, and now MMA making its presence felt. We are underway and ready for live action here at Madison Square Garden in the heart of New York City. All right, so here we go, early round one. This is a number one contender's fight in the UFC lightweight division. If this man wins tonight, he has been guaranteed by UFC President Dana White a shot at the UFC lightweight title. You know how hard title shots are to come by at 155 pounds. He is one win away. And he eats a right hand there. Joe, your thoughts on what we'll see in this matchup tonight? Look out for Edson Barboza's kicks. They are vicious. Oh, nice punch there by Barboza. So there's the first leg kick of the fight. It lands flush, Joe. We expected his strategy to be rooted in chewing up that lead limb to adversely impact his opponent's movement. That's a good start for him right there. He got tagged there. Oh! Nice! Just over three minutes to go, round one. Well, he gets cracked to the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point in time. You gotta get that head off the center line. Wild swing there. Effective punch there by Edson Jr. Barboza. Overhand right. Again with that right hand. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, double jab. Oh. Looked like it did start a little bit. He is hurt. Powerful jab. Nice takedown. Beautiful Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Barboza. Lands a punch. Whenever you see a fighter's legs stiffen up like that, that's not a good sign. Nice kick there by Barboza. Throwing it to the body there. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Beautiful strike here, lands on target. Here we see some beautiful striking and perfect timing on this punch. And here's a perfectly placed kick that really does damage. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Second round underway. Caught him with a punch. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is locked. Well, we told you that was a weapon to watch out for, and there it is as he lands the head kick up top. High kick! He hurts! He's got him hurt here. Wow! Oh! What a leg kick! Oh, stunning jab! Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. Inside leg kick is there by Edson Barboza. He tagged him again. He's hurt. He's locked. Connects 
with the punch. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Temp with the right hand there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Oh, he yeah. got clipped there. He got hurt. He's got to be careful here. He's in trouble. Blocks the punch. Oh! Oh, he got tagged again. He's hurt. He is rocked. He hurt him again. Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Oh, he might be out. And the round sounds on round two. So there's the end of the round, and thankfully it came right then and there for him. He was knocked down pretty significantly near the end of the round. That will keep him in the fight. He goes back to the stool. We'll see to what extent he can recover. There it is again. Let's see it one more time. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. Overhand right, swing and a miss. How about that chin? Barboza's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Really threw everything into that uppercut but fell short. Oh! He's in big, big trouble. Good takedown defense. He hasn't thrown any kicks yet, but he has some nasty kicking technique. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Very nice inside leg kick by Barboza. Oh, strong punch there by Barboza. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Connects there with the punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh! Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt. Well, the strikes keep on coming, and now that eye is so swollen, his vision has to be impaired, Joe. He's in some real trouble. Barboza gets in the clinch. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Oh, he found oh, the target there. The the body. He got nailed in the body. He is in big trouble here. Oh. He's definitely hurt. 
excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Final 10 seconds of the fight. There's a nice kick. All right, so somehow, some way, Joe, we hear that final horn. Multiple knockdowns in the fight, so perhaps there was a 10-8 in there as well. He should be the clear winner in this one, and it appears just a formality here as we await the scorecards from the judges. A most dominant effort out of that fighter here tonight. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, the pound. Well, he didn't get the finish. He has to settle for the decision nod, but you can be sure he will take it after a pretty outstanding performance here tonight. Doubles up his money, gets the win money as well and also has set himself up now for a massive fight moving forward. So congratulations to that young fighter on one of the biggest wins of his UFC tenure here tonight.